What are you looking for, man? I think one around the front of the signs. Say, man, what's good, man? First off, y'all need to read this shirt, man. You feel me? Read it week, man. You know, all you cowboy haters, man. Yeah. The good, the bad, the ugly shit. You feel me? Cowboys are good. Redskins are the bad. Giants is the ugly. And the Eagles, they stupid, man. They are. Okay. Real quick, Nitty, what to do, man? Shout out to everybody that's on here. Ty, Ronald, Jaja, especially you, Jaja. You know what I'm saying? All right, now this Thursday, man, I'm back in studio getting ready for the next Thursday show. Um, And uh, this Thursday, man, we had an interesting topic. Your wife was your MT. We didn't really get 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 a chance to get into the meat of it because the first part of the segment just blew everybody away. Um, yeah, I'm not, no, I'm just I'm just doing a live. The show is still Thursday. Fred, I see you on here, man. I see you on here. Hindu, what it do? So, we didn't get a chance to get into the meat of the entire subject, and I'm pretty sure uh, my co my brother, my partner, John, is going to um, get into it because he has so many notes to expound on. But I'm going to tell you all this, man. The biggest question so far and the biggest argument or the biggest debate, I ain't going to say argument because we have fun with this. First off, we have fun. So, that's number one, man. Um, truly having fun but the biggest debate and the biggest thing about the whole thing is this is that do you have to own a motorcycle does the motorcycle have to be in your name registered to you in order to join a motorcycle club me personally i say yes in history history dictates yes um but like jaja said it is it, times have change so because times have changed do we water down the rules this is the biggest thing I want everybody to know. The rules are the rules, and they are what make everything solid. They are what, what you build on, the foundation. So what you guys are saying is that because now, tell the studio they need to get another phone online department. We're working on it. You got to understand this. My studio had no idea that TMC Radio would, would be taken like this. So we work on it. We're brand new. That was only our third show. We haven't been on the air a whole month yet, but again, shout out to all the love and everything, uh, what it is. So you have to understand this, that in everything, there's rules and relations. There, there's things that have to be in place. When you go to work, it's that you have to be to work at nine o'clock. You can't bend the rules on going to work. You can get there 905 a couple of times. You might get there 9, 10, 930 if you call in a couple of times. But after that, ah, they're going to smack your ass and fire you. The motorcycle set on a whole has the same, the same entire, uh, it, it, it has to have the same stuff. It has to have the same meat. You feel what I'm saying? Understand this. The way you guys are doing it, because when the relationship goes south and chick dude takes your bike, you, you have a ride to be, no ride to be in the club. And if you don't have a ride, you should not be in an MC. Again, uh, uh, Quinn, what do I'm turning, you know, well, Jaja, I appreciate it, man. Um, again, let's look at the basis of the motorcycle family. The motorcycle community was created to be separate from the normal lifestyle, the normal the normal life of the normal individual, the normal average, average everyday individual. That was one of the purposes for the motorcycle club. We wanted something different from, from what the normal people did for what the normal people do. So we created the motorcycle cycle club etc cetera, etc cetera. we can get into that on a whole nother page but and we establish these rules one thing that makes the motorcycle club different is the, the fact that you have to have a motorcycle okay now i can example and this and we've seen this happen a lot in the club. We have, i know a person in the week i know a person and again remember when i say you i'm not talking about you when i say the club i'm not talking about you uh, i'm talking about them and they Makeup. So please don't don't try to, you know, say that I'm talking about you personally. Even if it sound like you or the similarities of you, it's still not you. And if it sound like your club or similarity your club, it's still not your club. I, I must say that because I, I know that my new disclaimer. It's a motorcycle club, not a walking club. <laughs> what up, Jero? <laughs> my brother, all the way from Tennessee. What it do? Uh, times change, rules don't change. There it is. There. Uh, what up, Sal? You still? Uh, 
I'm, I'm still, but this is on Facebook. This is strictly my Facebook. Um, I'm in the studio still, but I mean, I'm just hanging out today, doing some, you know, getting prepared for next week. Um, you know, playing, doing some music and stuff. But anyway, um, I want to expound on this. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up Thursday, um, or whatever he's going to do. But we'll get back into it. It was an interesting topic. Um, so the motorcycle club is supposed to be separate from what you do on your normal more regular every day okay with that being said one of the rules to join a motorcycle club was you had to own a motorcycle in other words you had to when you, you could have joined a motorcycle you should get your registration with your license your registration and your insurance and all three of those would be your name again i'm gonna give you an example there was a certain there was a, a brother a certain brother club whose brother was in the service okay his brother was in the service and his brother was gone um, the ten, ten months, ten months, eleven months out of the year, he was overseas. Well, this brother had joined a club and was using his motorcycle. Okay, he had not, a, he didn't have a motorcycle. Financially, he probably couldn't uh, afford a motorcycle. Um, and his brother, you know, probably told, him, "Hey, man, if you know, you can ride the bike time to time, do what you want to do." This dude had joined club with his brother's motorcycle. Hear what I'm finna tell you. He had joined the club with his brother's motorcycle and became a full-fledged member of a motorcycle club with his brother's motorcycle. Now, the brother ain't tripping. The brother told him to ride the bike and do what you do. But now the brother's home for this little one month or 60 days or whatever he's home for, and he's out on the motorcycle. What you got, Daddy? Did you, um, did you find any tape in here? I didn't see none. I just looked. That's what I was just looking for right now. He has to be in the office. I don't come for the office, for the uh, boss's office. Okay. They, they don't have no front? Okay, um, um, so anyway, the brother comes home from the service for his little 30 days or whatever. Cedric, but you don't have a bike, now that someone else's bike you are using. Okay, the brother comes home from the service, and the brother jumps on his motorcycle that he pays for, the insurance, registration. He out riding around. So he runs into some of the brothers at the restaurant. Is that better? I'm still, still paused. Hello, 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 hello. Anyway, um, let me try. What up, Shanta? What up, David? What up, Reginald? What it do, my man? Dirty. Stephanie said you're supposed to bring me a magazine, too. You know what I'm saying? Come through some stuff, man. But uh, I need a regular magazine. <laughs> dog, what do they do? Right, so, again, the brother was away off to the service for 10, 11 months at a time every year. And the little brother had grabbed his motorcycle. His brother gave him permission to ride. You know, man, if you need to ride here and there. But the little brother had joined a motorcycle club with a motorcycle. Okay. So now here it is. Big brother come, and he's taking it on this motorcycle, taking it for a spin. Well, he run into little brother. Clubbers. So he says, uh, uh, I know if all of you have, have stolen bikes, that means no no restraint for the bike they ride in their name. So does that lotion that you have on it, your name, also about outlaw clubs? I don't know anything about outlaw clubs, um, Lisa. I will not speak on that. I will not speak on the fact of anybody having a stolen motorcycle. I don't know that, that ain't got to do with me. We're talking about us and them and days and whatever, but. I will not speak on anything outlaw related. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, it is what it is. Okay, so uh, that got that disclaimer out. So he just came in. You see him? Okay. You gonna come in there and read, or just keep an eye out on what's going on out there for, or just the ears? Come in where I read. Okay, so you want me to just go back and forth? Anybody come in? I got you, sis. All right, so um. We're doing auditions right now for a play right now. we got a bunch of pretty ladies in the other room dressing, changing to the audition for this play that we got at the radio station. All right, anyway. So the brother comes home. He's on the bike. He runs into the little brother, Club Brothers. And they tell him, they see him or whatever, or they see the bike, so they go inside the building looking for the little brother. He's out there. Okay, if he wants somebody. The big, big brother, the, brother, the Club Brothers, say, hey, homie, hey, 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 what you doing, man? He's like, what you mean? He's, I mean, where uh, where little where, where little brother at? 
He said, oh, man, I get he at the house or something or whatever. He said, oh, okay, you on this bike day. And the big brother said, huh? He said, yeah, that's the little home bike. Ah, heavy. He said, yeah, that's the little brother bike, man. And, uh, you know, just he said, the little brother bike. So now the big brother said, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, he in our bike club. Oh, no, y'all, ooh, long story short, the big brother get furious. Furious. Like, first off, this is my bike. I paid a note to register the whole nine yards. And so they're like, well, whoa. so they call a little brother in the process. And then they tell they tell a little brother, hey, man, it's a dude down here riding your motorcycle. The little brother still trying to be cool, still trying to fit in, says, hey, man, well, that's my, hey, I let him ride my bike. But they don't know. He don't, the little brother don't know that big brother listened to the conversation. Big brother jump on that nigga. I'm so, I almost said this. Boy, this ain't your motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. He goes, this is my motorcycle. Club, I don't have nothing against what y'all teaching, but what you brothers have to understand, all motorcycle clubs are different, just like the protocol is up to each and every club. Oh, hold on, Fred. I got to read this. That's a good. Fred got a good point. Dang, it's not. Let me see the whole thing, Fred. Okay. Um, club interpretation, just like the people give you at the boys, you at a boys a lot of their members don't have bikes and don't ride bikes. Yeah. Well, read with Fred, uh, the president, that's the national president of Rare Breed, what he just said. And again, everything runs, everything runs different, everything runs whatever. Only thing we're, we're doing is, 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 is bringing the dialogue to the motorcycle set. We're just trying to bring the basis back to the motorcycle set. Again, this is for, in no way, shape, form, or fashion telling anybody that they got to change their club, that they got to go to their club, brother, and say, hey, man, you ain't got no bike. This is your real name. We just talking about this stuff, having fun, man, and we're going to teach and preach at the same time. Appreciate that, Fred. Um, much wisdom. Major cat been on the set for a while. Everybody's situation is different. Folks, some folks can put bikes in their name for certain reasons. Okay, I got you. We keep saying that. Everybody keeps saying that, well, you don't know my situation. IRS, child support, don't have a license. Uh, all of those things are cool. They, they 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 totally make sense. But it's not cool to 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 be half ass on whatever your business situation is or whatever your situation is and join a motorcycle club that's about being all the way percent. Because understand this, not having a license. Let's talk about your license suspended because of child support. Okay. Not having a license. All right, so now you get put over on your motorcycle for whatever reason. You might not have been doing Let's just say the police pulled you over for no reason. You don't have a license, okay? You understand the consequences. You're supposed to understand the consequences. You're supposed to know the consequences. You feel what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to accept them like a champ. But if you don't have a license, the police impound your bike, um, you know, the whole nine yards. But this is the thing. Now the moniker or the sticker goes on that club. You can say they, they don't, or you can say that that's profiling. You can say what you want to say. But now the moniker or the sticker goes on that club. When they have their briefings in their morning and their club meetings, say, man, I pulled a guy over from so-and-so club. He didn't have a license. I wonder who else don't got a license. Now you give whatever officer, that division, that department, grounds and, re and meaning and reason to say, hey, man, I bet you a few of you the other ones don't have license. So now we all hanging out. We all legit or whatever, and we getting pulled over and possibly harassed because you didn't have a license. Okay, that's that. Uh, what happens when they ride for years with the paper on the place? Bike inspection should be checking that, right? Just jumped into the conversation. All clubs are different. Some clubs, anything goes. The paper plate thing, especially on the West Coast, is more for. Um, People on the West Coast have a way of getting your addresses and all of that type of stuff from your paper. They probably can do it in any state. But I know on the West Coast, that's why a lot of the brothers ride, rock the paper plates is to keep you from being able to get their uh, home address or, you know, wherever they may they hear that because it's a lot of stuff, a lot of different elements going on to that. But when it comes time for the count, the registration, the license, and the insurance should all be one. And that should be, um, you know, that all that should match and all be one. But the paper plate thing is that that's all that's about. That's really just about a lot of people thought it was oh, just to try to act like they got a new bike. No, it has nothing to do with acting like you got a new bike. It only has to do with um, it only has to do with, uh, like I said, the fact that the fact that uh, that, again, you're trying to conceal from people. Um, you know, your home address or whatever. What'd you say, Hindu? I keep it 100 with my bros. I think 
that's looking too deep now. If you got work on on you, that's different. But a regular traffic stop comes up. Come on, homie. Again, I'm just telling you, these are things that we researched and these are things that we heard. If, for example, okay, since you want to say that, Hindu, let's say this. Let's say you out on your motorcycle with your colors on. We're not supposed to be. Okay, we all know you're not supposed to be. But let's say you out on, on the road with your colors on and you decide to run from the police. Okay? You decide to run from the police. What up with it, cuzzo? My cousin Corey just checked in. Or you don't have colors on, but you decide to run from the police. Okay, you don't. You feel like you don't have a license, or your registration is not in, intact, or you don't have insurance. Whatever dumb reasons people run from police, or and I ain't gonna call people that run from police dumb. That's not what I'm saying. But whatever the reason you decide to run from the police, understand this: for your action, there's a reaction. When you run from the police, just to say with colors on, and you get away. Well, now guess what? Everybody with colors on or that same moniker or look like that or look like that or whatever will now be harassed because of your decision you made because of the fact that you didn't have license or registration. Now, the second part to that is let's say you don't you didn't have colors on, but you got a green a green motorcycle with a white stripe. OK, that call is going to be put out there. Hey, man, we're looking for a green motorcycle with a white stripe. Now, we happen to be riding down the street and we chilling. We legit. We got a Harley. You got a Suzuki. He had a Yamaha. You feel what I'm saying? The police, most of the time, can't tell the difference. And some of, some of the time, they don't care to know the difference. They're going to use that situation simply to be able to pull you over and harass you. A green, He got a green motorcycle. Yeah, but this is a Harley. He had a Suzuki. Hey, I didn't know it was green. We're looking for a green and white motorcycle. I'm just telling you some real shit, man. Y'all can say, you know what? Uh, uh, I hope Fred, I wish Fred could call in right now, man. That would be cool. I got the phone. I could light the phone line up. Um, but anyway, you, you, you won't be able to, to you, you should be able to hear it in the background. But anyway, again, just know for every action, for not having your license, for not having your bike registered, even for not having the bike in your name while you're on the body. Let's just say you're on the body and you're out of the state. You're out of state and something happened to you. You go down or or whatever. And the police say, hey, man, um, the police say, uh, you know, hey. We need the owner to, to, to take possession of this bike or we're going to impound it or, or whatever it may be. Um, you understand what I'm saying? Then we got to, you're not there, so it's in your girl name. Um, so we got to, we have to, uh, you know, we got to let the people take the bike. We can't even, because he's saying, okay, well, at least if Cynthia was here to tell me you can take the bike, I'll let you take the bike. If you're going to be out, be out showing your ass, don't have them rags on, period. And again, like I said, without the rags, without the, let's just say he was on a black Harley. He was on a black dresser. We, the hell with that? He was on a black dresser. And he decided to run and got away. You feel what I'm saying? Guess what? Now, everybody on a black dresser for the next couple of days, if not weeks or whatever, will be harassed for that same reason. Uh, punching. Thank you for the video. I saw your video, man. I was not on that day when you was talking about that. But you got the number, Punchy. Call in, man, so we can talk about this. And we can talk about this now. This is on my Facebook, so you can curse to get down like you every, like you say. You want to get down. You can get down. You got the number, so call in. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all I'm saying, man. Again, these are the importance of having a motorcycle in your name in order to join a club, a motorcycle club. The number one requirement was is and always should be that you own a motorcycle don't care and we know people got messed up situations child support uncle sam missing this and that and, then, and contrary to what punch said when i did come buy my motorcycle the first one i bought yeah the, the, that i paid cash for from the candy shop it was in my name you feel what i'm saying it was in my name uh every bike that i ever had has been registered to me period and to clear this up for my harley's angels for my girl knitting them because me and Queen are married, my I require that everything that my wife has goes in both our name. Her car is in both our name. Her motorcycle is in both our name. It's on the registration. It's her name and my name. On the title, it's her name and my name. You feel what I'm saying? So let's clean that up. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, she's my wife. That's her motorcycle. But this is my house. You got the number. Punch out and gave it to you. You said you, said you was locking it in. Man, now if I put it... All right, let me see. Let me put this number, man. Hours, that's right. But that's run my household. And again, no disrespect to my wife. My wife is all woman and all that. And she has 
help me put something down on a motorcycle and help pay for part of it. But if it's in my house, you feel what I'm saying? If it's in my house, that's my wife. That's both of ours. You feel what I'm saying? It's her motorcycle, but my name's going to be on there too. You leave, we're going to have to split this motorcycle in half. You feel what I'm saying? That part. Um, hold on. Let me get Punch on the phone, man. Hold on a second. Um, let me see. What is it? All right, y'all hold on. I'm trying to get punch this number, man. And then everybody after that, eight, seven, eight, uh, okay. I just put it on there, punchy. See if you got it. Here, oh, you feel what, Hindu? So you do feel what I'm saying? I'll call you next, Hindu. Or you can call me next after punch because punch is going to be on there. But I already know how you're going to get that. I might as well drop my little drop while I'm in here, man. Hold on, man. Y'all like my little drops. Oh, y'all think I'm in here play, playing radio, huh? Yeah, let me let me get my little drops, man. Yeah, let me get my little. Where you at, Punch? I gave you the number. Hey, sit your ass down. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. You been playing? And I ain't playing. No. You better listen up. Big Sal and Black Dragon is talking. Teach MC Radio. Punch, you go ahead. Yeah, what up? I, hey, I just got on. I don't even know what you're talking about. We're talking about we're, we're talking about Punch continuing. Continuing the, we're, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Punch? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, we're talking about continuing the dialogue on you must own a motorcycle to be in a motorcycle club. Don't be it. Hold on, mm-hmm. right? So basically, what it was was I, I saw your video. Shot uh, big shots out on the video. Appreciate that. And uh, I just love everything you're saying. But what I'm saying is we're getting to. I was just explaining the importance of why I say. You have to own your motorcycle in order to be in a motorcycle club. But anyway, I wanted you to come on and elaborate on your on what you were saying as far as your part of it. But no, tell me why you think it's important for the bike to be in your name. Because number one, that was the whole purpose, Punchy, of the motorcycle club to be different from norm. The motorcycle club is not is not like regular regular society. They created the motorcycle club so that we could be separate from everybody else. Okay. And in that, the rules were laid down that you had to come to the, you have to join a motorcycle club. You need your license, your registration, and your insurance. I went over those things. I, I, I kind of already went over those things as to why um, having all those things are important. For example, I gave one example of a club brother who, of a brother who, who had joined a club with his big brother's bike. His big brother was in the service. You feel what I'm saying? And he was going 10, 11 months out the year. So the little brother uh, used his bike to join a club. What happened was when the big brother came home and decided to get on the bike and go riding, the club he ran into some of the little brother club brothers. And when they saw the bike, they was like, okay, that's so-and-so bike. But then when they saw the big brother come get on the bike, they was like, hey, homie, what you doing? That's the little homie bike, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, no, this ain't the little homie bike. This is my bike. So long story short, he ended up calling him and putting him on blast and finding out that this dude never had a motorcycle. Never could have afforded a motorcycle. But he was using his big brother bike, and he joined the whole club and everything, was a full patch member of the whole nine yards. So now... See, that's uh, different, though, Sid. That, that whole scenario right there is just different. I got you. I mean, you know, you know... Can y'all hear him? When I sold you, when I sold you your motorcycle, uh-huh. I sold you your blue bike, right? Okay. I don't care who name it was in, I sold you the bike. Yes, you did. So if, if, if the bike was still in my name, it was still your bike, sis. It's different now if somebody borrows somebody's bike, this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a difference. A, 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 real, a real nigga going to keep it 100 and let you know, nigga, this is my bike, this is my car, nigga, that's my bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so, so punch it. So, so how do you deal with so, so y'all never had to deal with a female taking one of your club brothers' bike, and now he don't have a bike? Nah, but we, I didn't deal with, with club brothers getting their bikes took by bros. But most of the time, they had two or three bikes anyway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just say for instance, if a bro, if but just say for instance, if my if 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 I wasn't a girl for my to, to get me a bike, and she took my took my motorcycle from me, right? Okay. So I'm gonna let my own boys know. He just took my bike. But all bullshit your size, and you got a time limit. In our club, you got to have a motorcycle. So we're going to give you six months to get your bike to get together and get it right. 
Okay. Man, that's with her. You got to get that bike back. You got to do something to get you a motorcycle. And, and like I say, man, we done been through this before. I, I, I ain't going to say my club brother's name, but you know, one of my club brothers, they got... That's Big Punchy on the phone from, from Red Breed. And took one of his bikes from me. You see what I'm saying? After she got married and went left, she took the bike. No, but it, it was just she took the bike. So, so, so let me ask you this: so, within the six months, okay, now when he first when, when he first joined the club, did he do you guys make him present his license, registration, and insurance, or no? He just y'all just look at the bike and he can join. Uh, look, uh, look, I've been I've been in my club seventeen years. Um, when I first got in the club, that was one of our things. Was to get the bike and registration. You know, they wouldn't triple off insurance. The, the law wasn't triple off insurance then. But back then, that was one of the criteria to being in our club. You know what I'm saying? Even even uh, Tony Jane, they just said it just the other day. Well, we, that day you had, the, you, know, you had your first uh, thing. Uh, was it yesterday, the day before? Yeah, Thursday. Uh-huh. The day before. I had one of the club brothers called the Dragons. You know, the Dragons been around longer than down to everybody. Yes. And, 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 Shout and, out to the East Bay Dragons. Yeah, the thing with the, with the East Bay Dragons, Toby Genius said it used to be like that too. But, nigga, Toby Genius, the ultimate president, been the president 50, 60 years. Nigga, and, and what he, you know what he said? What did he say, buddy? It changed. The times change. You know, you don't remember when they first started the child support stuff and they was taking our motorcycle, I mean, taking our regular car license and stuff from us, right? Yeah. That's when we, that's when us, the Red Breed, changed it. Because our bullshit aside, we was all young fools when we got in the club. Some of us had them, had them baby mama issues with the child support shit, even though they was good daddies and the girls was going left. And, and, and all they had to do is report them and do you already know what happened after that? They take your driver's license. You see what I'm saying? So how can I say uh, Marcel, uh, Earl, uh, Snowman, uh, 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 Toby, out there that's in, in your club, Okay, they took his driver's license they, for child support. Now we got to kick him out the club. Well, no, 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 no. What is it? That's what I'm saying is this, Punchy. That, that now that's a different scenario, because once he becomes a club member, well, brother, he has proven to be all of that. He has proven to be that member, that 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 brother. He has earned that brotherhood. Then, as a brotherhood, no, we could. Nah, nah, you said it wrong. Because you just told me that that this one dude was a full patch member all the way in the club, but he was only. Because he lied from the beginning. He never had a he never had a bike. He never had a bike. What I'm saying, what you're saying though is this. What you're saying is different. Let's just say, like you should say, your club brother, husband and wife. He they they find the wife bought on the motorcycle, the motorcycle's in her name the whole nine yards, but he loses his license because of child support. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So because he loses his license because of child support, and you I'm not saying that you kick him out the club. What I'm saying is that at that time, that's when he comes to the club and says, Hey man. I don't have a license. My license has been suspended or whatever. But as a brotherhood, that's when we come together as a brotherhood and we figure out what we, you know, huh? No, go ahead. I'm listening to you. No, no. That's when we come together. Yeah, I can hear you. That's, that's when we come together as a brotherhood and we figure out how can we keep, you know, what can we do to keep him or to, to, to get him right with the club? Yeah, but see, see, the only thing about that, Seth, is still always a catch-22 because, Cause you know how you could you could lose your you could lose your bike just cause you married to a broad and and, it, and the and the relationship go all bad. Period. You know I got you. Saying? I got you. Look, and then Maul just walked up and just hung. He said that he just said, "Man, look what happened to me." You know, what I mean? See, like that happened. It 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 just to me. Remember what I said on my video yesterday? Yeah. As long as the dude got him some triple A to get off that highway. To get off the highway. I agree. And sure, if he running to me, then my shit. I don't want to confuse the two. I don't want to confuse the two with a, a member being a member and then losing his license or losing his motorcycle. What I'm saying is this. Can a person join Rare Breed without having a motorcycle, without having a, a, a motorcycle license, a registered bike, and or insurance in his name? Mm -hmm. 
you can't sit against them, sit up for you. What I'm saying is, should a brother, be, should any person be allowed to join anybody's club without a motorcycle license, a registration, a registered bike in his name, and or insurance in his name? Yeah, shit. I, I, I think my brothers out here in LA, just like that right now. That don't have license, insurance, or nothing in their name. No, I ain't gonna say fifty, but maybe ten. <laughs> For sure. Okay. See the difference between us and, and dudes all over the beach. We still really. You know what I'm saying? Even the older we grow and, and and you get your life together, shit happens. I'm not gonna look down at none of my because that if that's the case then I'm talking about joining the club, don't punch. I ain't talking about in the club. I'm yeah. talking about so a brand new dude that walk up a brand new dude that listen. It does make a difference because I can bring you. No, because I can no punch it because what I'm saying is this: because I can bring you a license, I can bring you a registration, and I can bring you insurance in my name that would tell you that I'm that I'm responsible enough and qualified enough to be in your motorcycle club. Okay, then. So I know you responsible enough, nigga, if your shit was in your mom and daddy's name. You still responsible enough, but sometimes shit happens where shit can't be in your name, right? I got you. It, 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 shouldn't, it shouldn't knock you from being in any club yeah. because it's not registered to you. You know what I'm saying? It just it should not. See, really and truly, that that part right there, like that part to me, shouldn't even be an issue. The issue should be is if you're going to stay down with your club, brother, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to ride your bike with your club, brother, okay. you're going to pass out these toys with your club, brother. See, it'd it be so much other stuff that you can talk about. Then, then, oh man, this big friend, do you got a driver's license? No, I ain't got no license. Okay, well, you ain't, you ain't suitable to be a real breed. Ain't no way. And I just know because where we all started from, you know what I'm saying? Where we all started, we all come from the dirt. So we come from the dirt. And, then I'm, and I'm, I'm not knocking that, but, 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 yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but I never lost my license. But I never. I, Who knows? Because you moved to a whole other country. You moved to Istanbul, huh? You see, over here, nigga, your name was Marcel. Over here, nigga, your name is Stelly Stelly. You don't even know who you are no more. This nigga's stupid, man. This nigga's stupid for real. Hey, man, listen. No matter. Every, I'm going to say, say this, man. Ever since I've been on a motorcycle, I've had a motorcycle license. I've had registration in my name, and I've had insurance in my name. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What I'm saying is, all I'm saying is this, man. I think that we get back to this thing, it would make this. It, it would it would help out a lot with all the stuff that's going on. And maybe on the West Coast, y'all don't have that problem. But I don't think that a brother. I don't. Me personally, and this is my personal opinion. You should have to have a registration license. Of the registration and insurance in your name in order to join a motorcycle club. Yeah, hey, Phil, let me ask you this. When I did first get on here, you were saying something about if if, if the police stop a nigga with a, on a black bike with a gun, they're going to sweat everybody with a black bike with a gun? No, no, no. What I was saying is, what I said was something like that. But what I said was this, is that when, I, when you're riding dirty, i.e. no insurance, no license, no registration or whatever, and you got on your colors or whatever, or or mm -hmm. whatever, and the police pull you over, okay? When they have their briefing in the morning or whatever, they talk about those things. And the reason why I know this is because we've talked to police officers that say, hey, man, we got the word on y'all, y'all this or y'all that, or we got the word on so-and-so, and then we looking for them, and if we see them, we automatically know we can stop them because one out of 10 or two out of 10, whatever the percentages is, is not going to have a motorcycle, or not going to have a license, not going to have insurance, or whatever. All I'm saying is that this, the, the scenario was, if you're out here, I should say on your bike, and you decide to run for police because you don't have a license or you don't have registration or whatever, and you get away. But the police not knows that it was a it was a black dude on an all black Harley Davidson. They don't know if it's a road king, a street glide. All they know is a black Harley Davidson. They got away. You don't think mm -hmm. you don't think for the next three or four days they're gonna be trying to pull over Harley Davidson, black black uh, Harley Davidsons? Yeah, it'd be like that. They do that like that before. Okay, so so that's what I'm saying. Is when a person is when a person is dirty or when a, not, I ain't gonna say dirty. Let me, when a person is not all the way right, and they make a decision to do stuff based on them not being right, it jeopardizes the whole club. Because now you're chilling and hanging out, you got a thing on you just on just on GP, not even tripping. But now you done got pulled 
controlled by police, and now you worried about them finding this, finding this, or if they do find it, you worried about dealing with the consequences of them finding it, all because yesterday you decided to run from the police because you didn't have a you didn't have a registered bike or you didn't have insurance. Yeah, but see, see, the only thing here is still still a catch twenty-two. Shit, I might run for the police, not because my shit ain't registered, I ain't got no license. I might just run for them because I just stopped my baby mama an hour ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever the reason. Yeah, hey, bro. Whatever the it's reason. Just, it, it's up to the individual that's sitting on that motorcycle. That's why when you see a man on the bike, it ain't going to be no another man on that bike with him. Um, when you're on your motorcycle, you're responsible for you. So if you ain't got motorcycle license and, and, and uh, registration, that's on you. It's always on you. So if the police do pull Marcel over, what up with the street sweepers? If the police pull Marcel over and Marcel got his King of the South vest on, he ain't got no license. So then you go up the road a little bit more and you see another one of your club brothers and they put him over just because they didn't have none. And he got his and he good. See, you, every man got to be responsible for himself. Yeah, but the responsibility, you know I mean? but the responsibility starts in the beginning. How can you be mad at me if I joined the club with no license or I joined the club yeah. with, with no registered bike? So how can you be? When you join the when you join the club, you already looked at different. Let me ask you this: Do you think do you think the Kings of the South is, is a gang? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because all the police look at all motorcycle clubs like that. Period. That's what I say. And I said that. And I said that in my one of my videos before that. You know. But like I said, now people want to take it different because a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people. Why listen? I got in tr I got in trouble for saying that because a lot of people wives didn't know they was in a the gang. They thought they was in motorcycle clubs. Oh uh, yeah. See, <laughs> see, we we preach that. We preach that to our wives. We preach it to the school. We preach it to the police. We don't consider ourselves no gangs because most of us really did come from gangs. But the police look at us as gangs. If you pull up on a motorcycle, 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 but see, and even then, when I said the gang connotation, I was just saying a gang of a gang of motherfuckers. That's all I was saying. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. yeah. You just told me that the other day that they were sweating you because you, you made that comment some weeks ago. Yeah. And 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 the reason why I just brought it up now is because whoever was sweating you about they must really don't know how life go either. Yeah. Or they never been a blood scout, or they never been in the bank, or they never been in a service. They let look at a group of, a group of, it could be men and women having a family reunion. And the first thing the police gonna say is they have to come over here and say, gang. Yeah. It's a gang. It yeah. ain't no gang. It's my mom and I team them. <laughs> that part right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just know the topics that you be having, they all of them be up for discussion whether you feel like you're right or I feel like I'm right. And, that, and, that, and that's what it's all about. Show, and, yeah, that's and, the good thing about your show. Everybody got their own opinions. Any motherfucker that tell you, sell don't say this, sell don't say that, it's fucked it up. Because they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. You keep on being you, nigga. Keep on having your discussion. Because you're wrong about the driver likes and shit no matter what. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care what you say, you're yeah. wrong about that. Okay. You just keep it in our money. But, we do, but we do agree that we got confirmation that it used to be like that. And that was the only way it used to be. Yeah, yeah, no, on some real shit. Man, I, that's how our club used to be, on some real shit. And I and, and like I say, man, I will always, I remember when, the, when the, the, the cowboy dude, the cowboy hat dude with you was saying he'd been around for some years, and, and that's how I was when they did it. And then I just wanted to confirm, and then I had my boy call the Dragons, and the Dragons said the same thing. That's how I used to be. But, you know, as life go on, I mean, it's just different now, man. It's just, you got to be able to deal with every situation accordingly. You know, I think Sale a good dude. You know, I think if, if Sale come in my club and he ain't got no job or nothing, but he get on decks, he do this, he do everything. This ain't no one up I say I don't want myself to be in my club because he do not have a driver's license. He don't have a motorcycle license. I would never no vote you for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, it, it, it would, I would never do it to no man for that reason. As long as you're responsible for to understand and we know it's your motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? I know it's your bike, bro. I, I, I know that, nigga, you got action with us. All you got to do is be a responsible rare breed. That part All right the, there. The other stuff, the other stuff, it, 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 it just don't even fall into place. You know, I ain't no one else. I'm going to tell my club, brother, if he had a regulation like you, yo, what your club should have been doing, they should have just been backing you. Because 
you push the kings of the south, but in the kings of the south. And, and, and all the kings that I'm just watching this, listen to it, I don't mean no disrespect, bro. You know what I'm saying? To none of y'all. Because y'all are cool. You know what I'm saying? But, kid, and when you're the kings of the south, you can tell. Keep it. Well, there it is there, man. Hey, real quick, one last question before I hang up on you, man. You ain't cutting pork with you anyway, mama. Hot boy, hot boy and nasty, man. Hot boy and nasty. Oh, yeah. They, they're going to get out of the day about 6 o'clock. They racing for the throttle grip. And, um... <laughs> nasty and jockey. Nasty and jockey, for sure. Nasty and jockey. Hot boy got And hot boy motor work. It just work. Now, he don't... Hot boy or nasty, they don't have the motors, nigga, like, uh... Like Snowman and, and uh Fast Sammy and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they got they got workable. Bikes workable bikes, rideable bikes, rideable everyday bikes. Yeah, everyday bikes. Yeah. But they faster than my shit for sure. You know what I'm saying? So they they that's the kind of racing that we do out here. The, the fast fast shit. Y'all can have that. that to them. Yeah, they can have that. They don't they don't yeah, yeah they, they can, can have, have that. All that man. Hey, so you, you still ain't you still ain't you, you, you still, you still, you still ain't answer the question. You gotta give me one. Nasty or hot boy? Forget, it. Forget all the other shit, all the nice shit. Nasty or hot boy? Shit, I got to go with hot boy. Well, there it is, there, man. Global, man. There it is, man. <laughs> well, Jaja, Jaja, Jaja from Detroit. Yeah, Jaja from Detroit says she got Team Nasty. Go ahead. Yeah, look, look. Let, let me say one thing before you hang me up, bro. What you got to we say? We having our annual Christmas uh, Christmas toy giveaway today to Dawson right here on Broadway, Redondo Beach. If you y'all in LA. Uh, your kids need something, man. Come on through. We really, we really get to the kids that need something. So when y'all pull up in the business with your kids, I don't think they need nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So leave your business and come in your Buick. <laughs> and you, you said this. All, you said what time? Did, what time? And we're at again, Punchy? Start at twelve o'clock. We on Redondo Beach and Broadway. I guess this Bardino. Redondo no. Beach and Broadway at 12 o'clock, man. Rare Breed is giving away yeah, toys. Clock, they giving away toys to the needy, not to the greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the greedy, man, I bring your kids up here. Now, I can look at you and tell. We ain't giving no kids with the red bottoms on no toys. No red bottoms? <laughs> All right, Punch, I love you, man. I appreciate it. All right, bro. Get on you. I'll get on you. I'll try to let it. Let it. Hey, man, that was my man, Big Punchy, man. He, he giving his take on it, man, like I said, on the West Coast. Hey, my man, uh... uh um, my man, give me a call, Dirk. Where you at, man? I'm waiting on Dirk to call now, man. Anyway, again, I'm just in the studio, man, having fun, practicing, doing what I'm doing, setting up the show for Thursday. Um, we got auditions going on, man. If you're in, if you're in Atlanta area, we got auditions for a new play, The Bass Brothers. They're taking auditions right now. They're hosting auditions. Um, I saw Nasty call me. Um, <laughs> let me see if this is my man. Go ahead. Who I got, man? Who I got? Sell this Bigfoot pound for pound, bro. What's going on, Bigfoot? What's going on with you, man? Pound for pound. Man, I'm, I'm sitting there <laughs> laughing at you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept it 100 with you, man. How you going to do that like that, bro? Say, man, Bigfoot, you got to have, uh, you got to own your own bike to be in a motorcycle club. The bike got to be registered to you, man. Cynthia, yeah. Cynthia Malone cannot join pound for pound, man. Period. Yeah, you know, half of these niggas ain't got no credit to get no motorcycle. They biking their mammas, grandmammas, and sister, girlfriend, and everybody just like that. <laughs> yeah, how you gonna do that, Sam? <laughs> hey, man, listen, man. Cynthia Malone, Tracy McGrady, and 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 Barbara and Barbara Stressfield is not. They cannot join Pound for Pound. It's all male MC, man. Yeah, we know that, Sam. So, yeah, we try to get them over here. Yeah, niggas go outside and say, I love you, baby, get a motorcycle. Oh, and, have name and they've been doing that. And as soon as she realized the love was, was not real, then she's going to take the motorcycle when you get one less member. Yeah, but hell, we ought to help, help them get a bike some kind of weight, man. But she, she may get back to it, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's been having a long time, bro. That's been having a long time. That Matter of fact, I tell you, one one, one wife sending a nigga my motorcycle up on the internet, man. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Low. She was letting it go for seven thousand dollars, man. I feel sorry for brother. Yeah, I did. I bought it. I bought it. I ain't feel sorry. I bought it. But, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he thought they had a motor. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't pass up a deal. A deal is a deal, man. You feel? Yeah, it's, it's only one hundred. And, and say, uh, yeah. About the license, about the license, man. Let me tell you something. Here in Memphis, man, <laughs> bro, get one one pay by the child for his license was pending. Yes, sir. I agree. So, so you know, it's he, it's on that individual for him to get as far as the straight man with the registration and everything. Hey, well, let, let me let first. Of all, let me introduce everybody that's listening. This is my man, Bigfoot, pound for pound, president, um, Memphis, Tennessee, one of the biggest clubs out there. They're doing their thing. They not, they've always showed me love from day one. I love them. You might as well say I am a pound for pound member, just like I'm. I'm a rare breed, pound for pound, second to none, uh, next level. All, all of the real G's, man. All of the. And I, and if I didn't call your club. I didn't. I, I, I don't mean club is not a so please. I got to remember. But it is, man. We love you all, man. I went a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm getting So, uh, I'm going Frank Savage. Oh, shout out to Frank Savage, man. Shout out to Frank Savage, man. So, you know, I told Frank I'd still be there with him. I'm just kick back and give me a little rest, man. Then we started. Man, look, you could talk that shit everybody else. I know you waiting on that check, nigga. I already know. <laughs> Say, hey, see, see, we just said we go, we just said we gonna keep it one hundred. We just said we go. That's why you were listen, listen, man. I know why you retired, man. You retired so that when you get that check, you ain't gotta break that much bread, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll get a chance to go read the there, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. Cut the check, man. My partner, man. He waiting on that check. That's why, listen, pound, pound for pound. All y'all, my pound for pound casters on here. Yeah, he went on and got out the way. So when he get that check, he don't owe y'all nothing. You know what I'm talking about? I, I got, I'm going to show my brother. You know, they, they, they been, they, my club been good to me from day one, man. You know, from the hard service. They, they stayed there with me, man. And man, you been there, man. Day. Yeah, they didn't put nobody else. They wait. They waited on their president. They could have brought somebody else in, man, and put them in a position. They said no. We gonna wait on Bigfoot to get away, man. I, I love them guys, man. But man, let me tell you something, Sam. I want you to listen to me. Man. I got you. I'm praying for your brother because I like what you're doing. Appreciate you. The, the set need this. You okay. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, some brothers, some brothers and, and, and women are confused when it comes to this set. You understand? Yes, sir. And everybody have different opinions, but it's the right opinion that counts. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we can argue, but you know, we start being on the same equipment when it comes down to driving motorcycles, man. And the biggest and thing for me, and the biggest thing for me, like I tell everybody, my whole job, me and my me and Black Dragon's whole job was just to get the conversation started. You feel what I'm right. saying? Because right. everybody just keeps walking around it, walking through it, walking on the other side of it. Like Punchy just said, we can all agree to disagree. It's going to work different right. for your club than it's going to work for this club. You, you feel right. what I'm saying? Every club going to be different. Every club going to allow different things to happen. But the fact that we're talking about it and the fact that we're trying to come together to at least have an understanding like what you just said, that's what this shit is all about, period. Yes, sir. It's just one break, man. And, uh, man, uh, the license... Let me tell you something, man. I've been riding for years, man. Y yeah. And I was five ball because we were riding cross rockets when I started riding. You understand? Know okay. Flying, five balling. I had this white police officer told me, sir. Yeah. He said, son, I'm going to let you go. But I see you riding all the time. He said, just do me a favor. Just go get your motorcycle license. That's all I want you to do for me. Okay. And I kept, I kept mine, and I always had them since day one, man. I think every brother should have them. You understand? But it's hard for a brother that's out here. He may be working every day, man. Remember, remember this, Sam? Every man ain't on his best of luck all the time. Okay. So sometimes these brothers out here doing what they... When we ride them bikes, man, we flash and we looking good, man. We hold our head up high. And if these brothers looking at us and say, man, I want to be like them. But that brother got for a little money. Some of them want to get used by man, just to say he a bike route. Hey. He all, all of them can't go fast there some bikes, man. 
you know that. And we're not knocking that. We, I'm, I'm not knocking it. All I'm saying is this, man. And again, I'm only speaking on what it was. Now, like you say, we got right. different people that are saying how the, how times have changed. You just heard Punchy right. say Toby Jean agreed that, yes, in the beginning, you had to own your motorcycle. You had to have a license. But we do understand that times have changed. All right. I'm saying right. is this, is that if we know the foundation, you, you feel what I'm saying, then we mm -hmm. can take and build on it whatever we want. But you got to know the foundation. Yeah, got you. That's, that's from the get-go, man. But, Sam, I love you, bro. We all behind you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting it out there and putting it out there. And uh, we're going to make this thing work on out, boy. I love you now. I, that is, too. I love you. And uh, don't forget, man, I'm still your partner with or, with or without the check, man. You <laughs> well, I love you, boy. You feel all, right, all right, Bigfoot. <laughs> that was my man, Bigfoot, man. Pound for pound. Let me see if I got my man yet. Who I got? Who I got? Who I got? You got Doug Rock, man. There it is. There it is. There. Hold on, man. Let me introduce you properly, man. You know what I'm talking about? Let me introduce my partner properly, man. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a round of applause. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. Let me get this right, man. Hold on. Yeah. Round of applause. <laughs> I got my man, Dirt Rock, <laughs> in the building, man. What up with it, Dirt? Man, I'd have called you earlier, but, man, I had to stop and get some minutes on my phone, man. <laughs> 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 there it is there, man. Go ahead, D. Go. What, you, what you got to say, man? Should a, Let me ask you this. Should a brother, should a brother own, have to own his motorcycle to join a motorcycle club? Should he have to show you license, registration, insurance, and his name to join a motorcycle club? Man, it would be nice, but real shit, nigga. Have the bank on these niggas back anyway, so you don't own your shit from the giddy up. So it would be nice to have some shit. I ran into a nigga shit and... Shit, I'm like, nigga, we gotta have court right here in the street. I ain't got no insurance, so it wouldn't be nice to have, man. <laughs> so you, you say right there and there, y'all had to go to court right there and there? Yeah, right there and there, the whole ride court concession. <laughs> <laughs> say, nice. man, but, okay. Hey, uh, Kev, I want you to call next. My man, uh, uh, I'm not to But anyway, so, so you say it would be nice, but we do understand that the that the the slide bar had been slid down a little bit. It ain't it ain't as tight as it used to be. It had been loosened up a little bit. Oh hell yeah, man! There ain't no watchers, no love, nothing, nothing on that motherfucker, man. They just taking anybody, everybody. You got a motorcycle, some gas money? Come on, man! Niggas ain't tripping. They don't really, they don't really put that fact that you tear some shit up for niggas. Doing something stupid, man. Nigga got in, thinking about that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Riding motorcycles. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean, my whole thing is this, man. Again, me and my partner's whole entire movement is about giving you the foundation. From from what you build on the foundation, however your club put whatever they put on the foundation or whatever they decide to stack on top of the foundation, that's on you. But at least you knew or had information of what to build your foundation on. And, and you know what? That's cool, too, because, you know, when you bring people in, man, they got to learn from you, man. You know, what I mean? you know, don't follow the mistakes I made. You know what I mean? Getting a bike, biking another motherfucker's name, and all that old kind of shit. Have your own shit. Your bike, your own insurance, your registration. There it so is. When shit, do, when shit do come up, honey, hey, man, you know what you got to do, man, because, nigga, my first three bikes in three different business, man, they took them all back. <laughs> <laughs> So you, so you was one of the guys I talked about the bar somebody motorcycle to join the club then? No, I didn't borrow one. But like I say, I wanted a motorcycle. Oh, shit, I was all good. I ain't get you a bike from Texas. Nigga, I ain't get you a bike from Texas. You know, nigga don't go home. Shit, you want a bike back. You know what I mean? Shit, and then, and then baby mama, shit, you know what I mean? She said, oh, that motherfucker my name. I'm giving it to my new nigga. I'm like, I ain't tripping. You better keep that nigga off my street, though, so. Yeah. There won't be no misunderstanding. You know, all that shit plays factors, man. But you know what? Now I got my bike, my bike is in Dirt Rock name, man. Nobody else is, so it feels good, man. You know what I mean? Ride around clean and shit. That you know part I mean? right there, that that you said, like you said, that peace of mind. Peace of mind, man. It ain't no, it ain't no more fuckery, no more fooling. It ain't gonna hide the bike nobody. You let that motherfucker outside. Like that motherfucker mind. Yeah, that part. That, that part. Well, yeah. 
again, I appreciate you. Make sure everybody that's on my Facebook Live, I'm just doing this separate, man. But make sure you download the app, man, 106 Live on your on your phone. Trust me, it's a hell of a station. The music is oh, yeah. knocking. I um, mean, and we we digital clear the whole nine yards, man. But we really appreciate it, especially when I got G's like Big Punchy, Dirt Rock, everybody calling in, man, to show me the kind of love my man, a uh, uh, big foot pound for pound, especially him, man. So I really appreciate. It. Man, go ahead, man, do your thing. And one more thing, I'm gonna say, man, I'm hating on everybody till I get back on. Um, so, okay, so so you off right now, huh? Yeah, man, I'm off right now. And I'm gonna shit. I'm in the street like street lights. Okay, I'm well, five, but I'm we're gonna. gonna we're we going to drop this on you, man. Since you ain't got no motorcycle, you had no business calling my show. Hold on, man. Let me, let, let, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, get it because cause I was going to, listen, I, I was going to, I was going to drop, I was going to drop, I was going to drop this on you right here. What you going to drop on? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man, I love you, Dirt, man. I love you, man. <laughs> All right, all right. There it is. Oh, Dirt, before you go, real quick, before you go, Dirt. Yeah. Hot boy or nasty? Hot boy or nasty? I mean, I'm going with nasty. I'm going with the experience, man. You know what I mean? There it is, there, man. Hot boy riding his mic. Is he going to jump in the bike? Hot boy riding his mic, man. Hot boy riding his mic. See, but what, let, let me tell you something why I say what why I'm gonna tell you nasty. nasty for the win, he got the experience, but how many cats you know, how many niggas do we fuck with dirt that, that actually say they gonna come down and then bring their ass down just to race? That part. Man, you ain't lying. Hey man, he gonna ride his shit down. Do what he got to do and ride it on, man. That's motorcycle niggas right there, man. That part right there. So that's what I'm saying. Shout out to my man. Not that hot boy wouldn't have went to the bay, but he didn't. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> you know, hot boy smart. He got a, whoever, hey, whoever his manager is, he's pretty good. Oh, whoever. <laughs> oh, hot boy manager. <laughs> yeah, hot boy manager. He's going to set that fight up on the other side of the fight. If you don't get shot, out, it's going to be at home. That part right there, man. Well, appreciate you, Dirt, man. I love you, big homie. Love you, too, man. You be good, man. Hey, hey, hey. We be back out there. I'll let you pour it, man. All right, now. All right, man. Apparently, I'm losing my signal or something. I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Did the video freeze?